good day, and here we have Battlefield 1942, Secret Weapons of World War II. This is where the developers actually got a little crazy. They didn't just give us a new light machine gun model and maybe one or two tank models. Here we actually get some legitimately new weapons and some legitimately new factions and some new vehicles all around and new spawning vehicles as well. Now Battlefield 1942, Secret Weapons of World War II, actually introduced one of the best things in the Battlefield franchise. Although that could just be my opinion. And that is the C-47 Skytrain spawning point. It is just awesome to get into this plane and parachute out over enemy territory. In theory, when there's a human pilot, it's a lot of fun. It actually feels very natural and it's just exciting to parachute over enemy territory. When there's an AI pilot and you can't actually get into the pilot seat because the bloody idiot won't get out, it's a very harrowing experience. You need to get into third-person camera mode and make sure he doesn't just crash into a mountain. Because the AI pilots for this plane are horrendous. AI piloting in general for the entire Battlefield series is horrendous. They don't know how to fly at all, and they certainly don't know how to drive either. Also, sometimes the AI likes to jump out of the plane, as in jump out of the pilot seat, and if you don't know that, you crash into the ground. This game also introduced a few jet planes. Too bad I personally feel they go way too fast to be of any real use. For example, this German flying wing, you can't hit anything with it, you just zip around so fast. And the maps aren't big enough to actually have good strafing runs. The new maps are nice and big and are really quite detailed, especially in comparison to the Road to Rome ones. There's a bit more to do in these, and there's a bit more weapons and vehicles to find in these as well. There is a jetpack you can use in this game, but I swear I have never actually found it. And I imagine its usefulness is somewhat dubious anyway. Really, this was a great expansion pack and made the game even more fun. And once again, like with Road to Rome, the only way to really get Battlefield 1942 is to get it with these two expansion packs. I would say skip Road to Rome and just play this one exclusively. And so, this is John. Signing off.